Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we are just putting the finishing touches on this jihad against us. We are up to 53% war score and rising. We are sieging back this holding which I think is the last holding that we actually currently have occupied against us except maybe this one. Nope, not that one. Not that one either. Yeah, I think we've deoccupied everything that that they actually occupied against us. Sounds good. So after that, we're going to be going on the offensive. I think we can attack here, Voldoga. This guy is... Eh, he's actually not hostile to us. I don't think. Someone over here is. <laughs> I don't know exactly who. But someone over here is hostile to us. But for now, we'll just keep sieging over here and we'll de-siege this. It'll be fine. No need to worry. We are losing some money. That's primarily because we are reinforcing our retinues. We took some rather hefty losses. We are currently at plus... It doesn't actually say anymore. Siege of a Garab finished up, though. Let's see here. Okay, so we finished here in this county. We can go ahead and head on over to Constantine then. Fantastic. And Kirillo Belozerski finished up. Can we assault here? We can. So we're going to go ahead and assault this holding. There we go. Grab that back real quick. We'll assault this one too. Well, we'll assault that too. Maybe we won't. There we go, now we're going to assault it. <laughs> okay, 75% war score. Now, who here is hostile to us? This guy. This guy is hostile to us. Target acquired. Excellent. And then as far as this goes, um, this is just fine. I mean, we're just going to keep sieging. We're at 75% war score currently, and that's pretty much exclusively from battles and occupation. He has no occupation right now. Excellent. Contested title, Kingdom of Sicily. Why is there a question mark portrait there? I don't actually know. Okay, well, let's proceed, shall we? We're going to go ahead and smack this stack around a bit. And then we're going to keep ticking forward. How's that Black Death coming? Actually, first, we're going to make sure that we have another siege here. And indeed we do. Excellent. How's that Black Death coming? Okay. We've still got a little bit of time. It's not too bad. So... This battle is now going to wrap up. 77% war score. We're going to keep smacking them around. And then we're going to just siege up here. This is a host here. We're going to go ahead and invest in these craftsmen. This is Permian troops here. Where's Perm? Like, are you part of the Mongol Empire, Perm? Sultan of Perm. This guy. Now he's hostile to us. <laughs> oh, whatever. Maybe he joined partway through. Maybe I was looking at it wrong. Who knows. Anyway, I now know he's hostile. I thought he was. Okay, multiple successful sieges down here. And a successful battle. We're heading back to Toronto. There we go. We'll grab that. This is a rather extensive war. We're going to go over to Tel Atlas over here and start sieging there. ASAP. Actually, we may as well kill these guys if we can get to them. Battle of Matola. Oh, we wiped him. Okay. He's going to be conveniently located. We're going to let him cross this straight here, and then we're going to go kill him. There we go. Excellent. 
Can we catch you? No. Where exactly are you going? Limdia? Okay, we'll try to catch you. Don't know if we will or not. May or may not succeed in that. It's fine. You guys not coming in? Yeah, they are. They're coming in. Excellent. How goes up here? Uh, so far, so good. He's thinking about actually stopping his siege here. Um, actually, the Teutonic Order left. We should probably think about leaving, too. We only have 783 troops here. Can we siege this? No. Okay, we should leave. Don't want that host to come in on these guys. Okay, 79%. He won't accept an enforced def demands yet, but he'll, he'll get there soon. I almost said enforced defeat. I mean, it's the same thing. Okay, we finished up this siege here. We have occupied everything around here that we can, correct? Correct. How about here? Oh, we're good there. We could actually attack here. Excellent. And then you might as well head over to Oriana. Or Orania? Orania. There we go. 79% war score now. This should be a stack wipe. Here's another 3600 stack that he got somewhere. 80% Mayor of Abahar captured. It's not particularly useful as a bargaining chip. Ooh, we are going to get these guys. Excellent. Yep. We're definitely getting them. Siege of Sarkle Tribe. Yeah. That was bound to happen eventually with these Teutons leaving. It was very unfortunate. Not sure where exactly they think they're going, but whatever. You're going to Athens? Okay. That's fine. Whatever. Okay. Can we assault? No. Can we assault here? Mm, almost. Can we assault here? Actually, yeah. Now we can't. <laughs> Okay, um, well, we do want to grab these guys. They're heading into Thessaly, so right down this way. And then these guys actually cornered themselves on the Peloponnese, so we can head on down. There we go. Excellent. Seems to be going fine. We do have, theoretically, more ticking war score going on. Our court physician has suggested that we buy him some books on anatomy and herbalism so that he can improve his skills. There is a black death coming. Improve your skills, please. <laughs> 305 gold. Well, we'll give it a go. And it's just gathering dust in our, our library. Rip. It was worth a shot. Siege of El Bekara finished up. Okay, so we can't get anything else there, so this force might as well go to Beni Yani. Excellent. And our court physician has reluctantly let us know that the new books we bought him were ancient and contained nothing of value. Excellent. <laughs> Just what we were looking for. We can move our fleet to be docked more up here ish. There we go. And these guys cornered on the Peloponnese are dying about as easily as expected. Excellent. And we're going to go ahead and grab these guys. These can't get out unless they use boats, so that's fine. This should be a stack wipe, unequivocally. There we go. And then come on down and kill these guys. Now then. Hmm. How do we want to do this? Holy Mongol revolt, Batman. I just noticed that. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. 
<laughs> Perfectly fine. So we do want to wipe out this force here, but then I think we're going to swing this army up north. And say, do what you want, Teutons. We need to defend our territory up here. So we need to go group up up here. We're at 78% war score right now. And that should go up to pretty close to 100 once we recover our territories up there. But these guys are kind of going ham up here, which is a bit unfortunate. I wish those Teutons had stayed with us up here. We could have finished this war by now, if they had. But he can't get everything, unfortunately. We need our vassals to clean up some of these over here as well, too. Hmm. The new leader of the Great Republic of Danish Revolt. I like it. <laughs> it's catchy. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Where's that Black Death? It's actually not doing so hot. I'm okay with this. It's having a hard time coming on over. So, that is perfectly fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's to be expected. We should grab these guys while we're here. There's no way around that one at this point. We need to catch these guys, smack this stack, not let it go on, and then continue our march northward. I mean, we didn't actually get the full stack there. Ooh. Tootins, what are you doing, bros? Let's see, we're going to get there on 13 April. They're going to leave on 2 April. So we might as well just let him go and continue heading north. There we go. We have approximately a million occupations down here. We'll go ahead and siege that, or assault that siege even. And this one, we're not going to assault that, that's for sure. If I recall correctly, we were not going to assault that, that is correct. Excellent. We're at 82% war score. Still at 82. And we'll head on over here. And just start sieging in Limdia. There we go. These guys are still on their way northward. There's a lot of guys down here now. Ugh. Ugh. Hmm. I feel like we keep doing what we're doing. We head on up here. And then, let's see here. 1612. Let's assault this holding. And this one. We can't really get away with assaulting this one, I don't think. We don't need someone in the court. Let's do it, though. Let's assault it. Okay. Now, let's group these guys up, and let's use our boats to go defend Sicily with this army. That's the way this is going to play. Okay, and now we use this army to go to Limdia. We're at 86% war score. We can embark this army. And we will make our landing in Salerno. Excellent. Wait a second. Why did we just go to 0% war score? Second Sunni Jihad for Sicily? Wait. Why did we just go to 0% war score? Just because of these occupations? That's a little weird. We were just at, like, 86% war score, 23% from occupations. That's strange. 
Anyway, um, I bet it's because of these occupations in Sicily down here. Yeah, because we lost our ticking war score because they have occupations in Sicily. That's what it is. This will be fine, though. Okay, we won this battle. That's actually really, really good. We're going to go ahead and just do this then. And we need to get back our ticking war score, so we need to attack these guys immediately. This will be perfectly fine. Theoretically. We lost half our morale immediately. <laughs> but it'll still be fine. Numbers are bearing it out. Okay. So far, so good. This Teutonic stack is over here not doing much. That's kind of annoying. Okay, we captured Corky, I guess. Um, we need to we need to siege this immediately. There we go. And this is not held by them, so yeah, we're back to 87%. Now we come in here. And then we take this back and this back. And we should be at basically 100% with this battle. Theoretically, anyway. That's, that's the way this played out in my head. We'll see if that actually plays out that way. Let's see. 705 troops there. We're going to be able to assault this. But we're not the leader of the siege. Okay. Siege of... Okay, he did assault it. Good. Yep, he assaulted all of those. Hey, our craftsmen succeeded that time. Excellent. That's not the button I wanted. Okay, let's go take this back. Oh, we're at 100%. Enforce demands. So he's going to lose 200 piety. He's going to pay 800 gold to us. Sunni minus 10% moral authority. We're going to gain 100 piety. Lollard plus 10% moral authority. We gain 216.41 piety. We gain 108 prestige. And he gains 3 decadence. Sounds good to me. Okay, the second Sunni jihad for Sicily has ended. We won. The greatest, it seems, does not favor the Muslim faithful. After a string of defeats and setbacks, Caliph Hassan II has called off the Jihad for Sicily against Emperor Jaspert of Britannia. By the way, we're named Jaspert. <laughs> Pathetic. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put down our realm levies. We don't have any personal levies up, so let's try to track down all of our... Are these our only retinues? see here 32 100 outliner let's see armies yeah this is it okay that's fine uh let's go ahead and get rid of our realm fleets as well there we go and i want to park our levies somewhere a little bit more no, not levies our retinues somewhere a little more centrally located than up here in Bruges. So I'm kind of thinking maybe like on the Croatian coast over here, like Zara maybe? I mean, it's not super centrally located. We would have the same problem getting up here. So maybe like Oberbayern or something. That could work. Okay, so we are currently at peace. Which is great. Our wife has not gotten pregnant yet. Which is a little strange. She is rejecting seduction attempts. Good for her. So we are... Lustful. We're a hunchback, which is exciting. But we all, we're a Midas-touched, lustful... Who's seeking to groom an heir. So we shouldn't have any issues with fertility as long as we're at court in Westminster, which we currently are. Excellent. 
And honestly, how could she say no to this mustachioed devil? There's no way. So how is the Black Death doing? Well, it's saving. We know that. <laughs> um, not amazingly. It might not actually spread to us. Prince Thorgil the Fowler has usurped the title County of Loon from Ermengard the Whisperer. Okay, good for him. 15% epidemic resistance, huh? What are we at in our capital? 34%. Well, that's better. <laughs> How is our construction doing? Okay. Let's go ahead and get extended wards. And then here, we're going to grab a leper colony. And then here, we're going to grab a something. But right now, we're not going to grab an anything because we spent all of our money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Title revocations, seclusions, defensive pacts, peace offers, holy wars, we're now known as the Great, disease outbreaks, hosts, inheritance, and looting. That's fine. A mysterious Jewish man has offered his services at our court. He's well-versed in feudal court intrigue and has a past as both a mercenary and a spy. I mean... He is a really good spy. Why is the King of France with three skill our spy master? What are you better at? You're a lot better at stewardship. Is our steward any good at spying? I mean, that would be an upgrade. What else are you good at? Learning, but we can't put you in that role. Um... The other option is, he's not a super strong king. Do we have a king who needs to be on the council? Not currently. King of Austrasia will get there, though. I think we're just gonna leave things... No, we're not either. We need to change the council title that this guy has. So, we need to... Where is it? Why can't we change council position? Oh, he's secluded with his courtiers. Okay, we leave him alone for now then. We'll get rid of all of our low priority messages. Eventually. There we go. Excellent. So yeah, uh, Black Death I think is actually dying out down there. I'm not sure it's actually gonna get anywhere. Um, do you wanna ransom yourself, bro? Oops, not release. Ransom prisoner. He does want to ransom himself. We'll ransom him then. Excellent. We can shut the gates. Why? Outbreak of consumption. Okay. I mean, it might happen. It might not. Now this guy is complaining. Do you want to ransom yourself? He does want to ransom himself. Okay. Absolutely excellent. So we are at 56% threat, and now this guy wants to ransom himself. There we go. So we're at 50, 56% threat, um, and we're not going to be declaring any offensive wars anytime soon because of that. The Mongol Revolt is going on, which is intriguing, and I wish we could declare right now, but we definitely can't. <laughs> We do have this Black Death to worry about, but it's actually almost all gone. Yeah. I think it's going to completely die out. I, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. We could negotiate with Barsbeck. We're not going to do that. We could shut the gates. Um, is it currently in Middlesex? It is, actually. We're going to go ahead and do that. Seal it up. There we go. And we'll stay here until consumption is gone. So even though Black Death isn't actually coming over here, those investments in our hospital are still going to be useful. Italian Holy War for Tunis. Have fun with that, Italy. 
That'll be pretty great. And we need a new spy master now. So that guy died. That's pretty convenient, really. We're gonna go ahead and put this Jewish guy on our on our council. He's a skill of 23, by far our best. Is there anywhere where we can actually study tech? There is. Look at that, Adrianopolis. Oh, there's one over here too. Purushapura. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and study tech over here in Adrianopolis. Sounds good. How is our tech, anyway? Uh, we could get a point in improved keeps, and so we shall. Other than that, that's pretty much all we can do. Sounds good. Okay, so, just want to double check. Yeah, I'm reasonably certain that this Black Death here is going to die out rather than spread. It's just the one province now, and it died out pretty heavily. Hey, Palermian Peasant Revolt. Italy can take care of that. Right? Yeah, Italy can take care of that. Well, Sicily can take care of that, to be more precise. Right? Yeah, Sicily can take care of that. I just want to see... Oh, it's gone. Yep, Black Death is done, though. It did not spread. Excellent. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. And next episode, we will be attempting to do something with this threat. I'm not sure what we'll try to do. We might just try to invest in stuff, as is kind of my MO, it seems. Harley builds up all the threat, and then I just invest in stuff for a couple decades. <laughs> See you all next time.